It was a visit those in attendance won't soon forget. Nelson Mandela's granddaughter toured Stewart's Creek High School and spoke to students and faculty today. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas shows us how the visit helped give students and staff a new perspective on education. Everyone, just a FYI, our VIPs are here early. Arch, Sabres. Nelica is Nelson Mandela's granddaughter. Let's position in front of the columns, y'all. And a force within her own right. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm Clark Harrell, the principal here. Okay, Nelica Mandela, pleased to meet you. We're so honored that you're here. She's continuing her grandfather's legacy through her foundation. <laughs> It's creating health and educational programs, especially in South Africa's poor rural neighborhoods. If you look at his life, he was a rural boy that first attended school barefooted with cut off pens from his father, tied with a piece of string, but he became the first president of a democratic South Africa. The first place we'll stop is culinary. Mandela wanted to see what students in the United States are learning. Here's your credits. You've, you've wow. passed a college level class. Shocked by the wealth of resources that at best are only offered to college students in South Africa, Mandela hopes to bring some of those ideas back home. They're not even exposed to technology. Some of them, they don't even have computers. For the students, their history lessons immediately came to life. Nelson Mandela, granddaughter, came to my school, and it's pretty crazy. But education has an interesting way of making the world much smaller. As people of color and people from impoverished areas to say, let us change the narrative. Let us break the cycle of poverty and, and, and equip these children with better tools than, than we had. Those are the same conversations being discussed right here at home. Behind these walls, they can be the next Obama. They can be a, a, a next president that actually comes from poor areas. That's what I live for on, on a daily basis. Mandela's presence provides new perspective. It's really awesome to be able to know that around the world, everybody doesn't have what we have, so we're so much more fortunate. Maybe, just maybe, all of this is a gift that shouldn't be taken for granted. It's mind-boggling. <laughs> it is mind-boggling. Yeah. Having Mandela as your last name can come with a lot of pressure, but Delega says that she can't be her grandfather. She does, though, try to emulate him. I'm Andrea Klein-Thomas, News Channel 5 HD. Mandela's foundation also honors her father, Nelson Mandela's eldest son, who died in a car accident back in 1969.